So, we've been in the off-season for a little bit now, and it's given me a bit of time to think. And I've done a little bit of reflection, and I've come to the conclusion that I think Pierre Gasly is actually the greatest Formula 1 driver who's ever lived. Now, to some of you, this may seem like a big statement. I'm going to explain my workings for you, and I'm sure at the end of this video, you too will come round to my way of thinking. Let's start with Gasly. Now, last year, he joined the Alpine team and had his teammate as Esteban Ocon. And at the end of that season, it was Pierre Gasly who came out on top over Ocon in the Drivers' Championship, which I'm sure we will all agree means that Gasly is better an Ocon. But from that, in fact, we can go deeper. In 2022, the Alpine lineup was Ocon and Alonso. And in that year, Ocon beat Alonso, which means that Ocon is better than Alonso. But from there, we can go deeper. In 2016, Alonso was teaming with Jensen Button. And that year, Alonso beat Button. So Alonso is better than Button. But we can go deeper, because in 2011, Jensen Button was teaming with Lewis Hamilton. And Button beat Hamilton, which means that Button is better than Hamilton. But we can go deeper, because in 2013, 2014 and 2015, Lewis Hamilton was teaming with Nico Rosberg and beat him, which means Hamilton is better than Rosberg. But we can go deeper than that, because Nico Rosberg used to team with Michael Schumacher. And in 2010, 2011 and 2012, Rosberg beat Schumacher, which means Rosberg is better than Schumacher. Which also means that Hamilton is better than Schumacher. It means Button is better than Schumacher. It means Alonso is better than Schumacher. It means Ocon is better than Schumacher. And it means, ultimately, Pierre Gasly is better than Michael Schumacher. So if we look at the guys that Gasly has just proved he's better than, he has now inherited 11 world titles. 175 race wins, 417 podiums, and 10,552 career points. But we can still go deeper. Gasly beat Yuki Tsunoda in 2021 and 2022. Yuki Tsunoda beat Daniel Ricciardo in their races together in 2023. Ricciardo beat Sebastian Vettel in 2014. Vettel beats Mark Webber all the time. Weber would beat Coulthard in 2008. Coulthard beat Mika Hakkinen in 1997 and 2001. Hakkinen beat Nigel Mansell in their two races together as teammates in 1995. Mansell beat Nelson Piquet in 1986. Now, Piquet was teammates with Nicky Lauda for one race in 1978, and Piquet beat Lauda. And Nicky Lauda beat Alain Prost in 1984, and Prost beat Ayrton Senna in 1989. So, Pierre Gasly is better than Yuki Tsunoda, Daniel Ricciardo, Sebastian Vettel, Mark Webber, David Coulthard, Mika Hakkinen, Nigel Mansell, Nelson Piquet, Nicky Lauda, Alain Prost, and Ayrton Senna. So at this point, Gasly has now inherited 31 World Championships, 449 wins, 1,085 podiums, and 19,831 career points. But we can still go deeper. Now, as we already know, and as we already all agree on, Pierre Gasly is better than Alain Prost. And Prost would beat Keke Rosberg in 1986. Rosberg beat Fittipaldi in 1980. Fittipaldi beat Denny Holm in 1974. Holm beat Bruce McLaren in 1968. McLaren beat Jochen Rindt in 1965. Rindt 
beat Graham Hill in 1969. Hill beat Jackie Stewart in 1965. Stewart beat Chris Amon in their two races together as teammates in 1973. Now, Chris Amon beat Maurice Tringagent in their two races as teammates in 1955. Tringagent would beat Mike Hawthorne in their three races as teammates in 1955. Hawthorne would beat Alberto Ascari in 1954. Ascari beat Giuseppe Farina in 1952 and 1953. And in 1950, Giuseppe Farina beat Juan Manuel Fangio. Meaning, Pierre Gasly is better than Prost, Rosberg, Fittipaldi, Holm, McLaren, Rint, Hill, Stewart, Eamon, Tringagent, Hawthorne, Ascari, Farina, and ultimately, Pierre Gasly is better than Juan Manuel Fangio. And at this point, Gasly has inherited 50 world titles, 574 race wins, 1,400 podiums, and 22,302 career points. But we can still go deeper. Now, as we've already discussed, Pierre Gasly is better than Daniel Ricciardo. And in 2016 and 2017, Daniel Ricciardo would beat Max Verstappen when they were teammates. And in 2019, Max Verstappen beat his teammate. And his teammate was Pierre Gasly. Which means Pierre Gasly is better than Daniel Ricciardo. Pierre Gasly is better than Max Verstappen. And Pierre Gasly is better than Pierre Gasly. And what we've done here is we've created this infinite loop where all these world titles that he's inherited, all these race wins, all these points, all these podiums, they repeat now, forever, in this infinite loop. So next time someone asks you, who is the GOAT of Formula One? And they say, Senna, Prost, Schumacher, Alonso, Verstappen, Vettel, Hamilton, Fangio, Stewart, or whoever they say, you look them dead in the eyes and proclaim, NO! THERE IS ONLY ONE! THE ONE AND ONLY! THE GREATEST OF ALL TIME! THE INFINITE CHAMPION OF THE WORLD! THEN, NOW, AND FOREVER, THE TRUE GOAT, PIERRE GOSLEY! I need Formula One to come back. I think I'm. I think I'm getting a bit bored.